Hey there, dog lovers. Dogs usually see their owners as their BFFs and are super loyal to them. But did you know that you can sometimes get on their nerves with your actions? That's right, and even the most laid-back dogs have something they hate about their owners. While some of these are unavoidable, like cutting their nails, there are behaviors we can change to make life better for our furry pals. So, want to know the things humans do that dogs hate the most? Then don't hesitate to watch this video closely. But before that, don't forget to subscribe to our furry channel and smash the notification bell. Now, let's jump in. Ten human behaviors dogs hate the most. Number one, hugs. Hugging dogs may look adorable in pics, but it isn't always their thing. Some dogs don't like hugs, especially from strangers. They might see it as a threat. Sure, some can handle gentle hugs from people they trust, but that doesn't mean they actually enjoy it. It's better to let them cuddle on their own terms and give them pets on their back and chest. Number 2. Invading their personal space. Dogs aren't fond of people invading their personal space. Avoid putting your hands in a dog's face, looming over them, or rushing toward them, especially if they don't know you. When handling your dog for things like your cleaning or toothbrushing, Take it slow, be gentle, and reward them with treats or praise. Number 3. Not letting them sniff on walks. Walking dogs isn't just about exercise, it's their chance to discover the world. Dogs explore mainly through scent, while humans rely on sight. Hurrying them through walks without letting them sniff and mark is kind of annoying for them. Number 4. Lack of routine and rules. Even though your dog may not show it, he needs rules. If he's misbehaving, it's likely because you haven't taught him the rules. Training provides structure in his life. Establish a routine and feed and exercise him at consistent times. With structured rules and routines, you'll notice your dog becomes happier. Number 5. Yelling and Harsh Punishment Yelling and harsh punishments don't work with dogs. They may not understand the words, but they sense your emotions. It can upset or scare sensitive or fearful dogs. Fear doesn't create respect or strengthen relationships. Even aloof or happy dogs won't respond well in the long run. They become desensitized and ignore you. Number 6. Dressing them up. Most dogs don't like being dressed up unless they are gradually introduced to it. Don't force your dog into costumes without knowing their preferences. Some may tolerate shirts but dislike head or foot coverings. Anyway, Consider the importance of dressing up your dog in some cases, but don't forget to observe your dog's body language to gauge its comfort level. Number 7. Strong Fragrances Your dog's sense of smell is super sensitive, thousand times more than yours. They enjoy sniffing scents, but strong fragrances and chemicals can bother them. So, don't spray your dog directly with anything. And remember to use personal products, like hairspray, perfumes, etc away from your dogs. Last but not least, make sure they are non-toxic. Number 8. Being left alone or ignored. Dogs dislike being left alone and can develop separation anxiety. While some find comfort in the presence of other dogs, others crave human companionship. As a dog owner, balancing work and personal life can be challenging, but you should spend quality time with your dog, establish a routine, and provide exercise and mental stimulation. And remember that if you should travel, you need to find a reliable pet sitter. Number 9. Uncomfortable Situations Dogs sometimes refuse to go somewhere or do something. It could be the bathtub, the vet, the car, or certain people or animals. This resistance often stems from fear or phobia. Forcing them into scary situations only increases stress. Instead, ease them into it and reward calm behavior. Gradually expose them to the trigger while encouraging non-reaction. Number 10. Upset Owner Life has its ups and downs, and our dogs can sense our emotions. If you're experiencing depression, stress, or grief, it can affect your dog, too. They may become sad, sick, bored, or act out for attention. Stick to a routine and spend time with your dog. They can offer incredible emotional support, even aiding in therapy. Take a walk with your dog, and you may feel better, too. And that's a wrap for today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button hard and give us a like to show your support. 
We really appreciate it, and it definitely motivates us to make more awesome furry content for you. Before we go, we're curious to hear about your thoughts and experiences. Have you ever done any of these to your doggy? Drop a comment below, and just feel free to let us know what you think. Stay furry awesome!